Have you ever had a problem with your fish and you're like, oh no, I want to try an Epsom salt bath with them. And then you run to the store and then you see Epsom salt and then you grab it. Which one of these two are you grabbing? A or B? Well, my first time going when I was a not as, you know, informed fish keeper, I went with this one. I just saw it, grabbed it, and ran. Then I got home and realized it says cooling peppermint on it. You don't want that in Epsom salt. You just want pure Epsom salt. That's what you want. Your fish are going to want that. They will not like the flavoring. Trust me. These are just some simple things that I like to tell people so that way they don't make the same mistakes I did. Luckily, I didn't put my fish in that Epsom salt, but I did realize the mistake and had to go to the store and buy more. So I hope that you guys learn from my mistakes and that your fish stay healthy and happy. Hey, little guy.